it's Abby from the Art of Education. Today I'm going to share with you three projects that integrate basic technology that you can do with your students. It's actually so simple that the only thing that you need is a copy machine. The first one that my students really like to use is using Xerox transfers. This works really well with an acrylic painted background, a um, you can even do a watercolor background, really anything that will not rub away as you are creating, um, as you are doing the Xerox transfer process. Students really like it because it's a simple way to integrate technology, whether it's usually using a portrait, an image that they've created on the computer, or something that they simply do on a piece of paper and run through the copy machine. The next one that I'm going to share with you is this design lo logo project that I actually use by taking a piece of paper that either has a monoprint, a watercolor, something that doesn't, isn't going to stick out a lot. So you wouldn't want to use oil pastels or even chalk because that might make a mess in the copy machine. But you simply run the paper through and the logo or the design will stand out directly on top of that design that your student has created. This once again can be done hand drawn and run through the copier or a digital design can be created for this as well. One of my students' favorite things to do is to actually use transparencies to add a little digital element to their artwork. So once again, for this, any type of background can be used. It doesn't matter if it's chalk, oil pastel, or paint. Even just a simple drawing can be used as well. So what you do is you simply take your colored background, have your printed transparency with the image, use a little spray adhesive, and glue it on over top. This way, the image will show through, and you'll have a really, really awesome design. All three of these, these techniques are really, really great to use if you have a digital art class or a technology and art class where you don't necessarily have the budget or the money to spend printing out all of your students' beautiful, colorful work. This is an easy way and a simple way to have your, let your students have beautiful, colorful images and you're not breaking your budget. For more tips and tricks like these, don't forget to visit theartofed.com. Thank you.